Mother Nature's not cooperating. With shifting winds, hope is burning away faster than this spilled oil. The massive spill, 600 miles around, is about to reach Louisiana's fragile coast. It's leading edge just three miles from the community of Pasalutra, an environmental disaster. We have now accumulated over 18,000 barrels of oily water and we, were, we continue to skim, even though the weather forecast suggests that those activities will have to cease soon. Response crews spent the night burning off some of the thickest layers of oil before high winds put a stop to it. British Petroleum, which owns the destroyed rig, has mobilized more than 1,100 workers, 75 vessels, and 400,000 feet of boom, trying to corral the oil and protect miles of fragile shoreline. Threatened, Louisiana's barrier islands, a buffer against hurricanes, and its marshlands and more than 400 species of wildlife, including whales, dolphins, and the brown pelican, Louisiana's state bird. From Texas to Louisiana, environmentalists are preparing for the worst. Volunteers are already being drafted to wash off animals. Louisiana's shrimp season was opened early today to allow shrimpers to salvage what they can of their catch. And while we were out on a boat in the Gulf today, fishermen were clearly worried. This is the time of the year that they all come in, and with the oil slick out, it can kill all our little shrimp that's coming in. So we, we, we worry serious about this. It's going to be devastating our industry. President Obama promised military help if necessary, and later talked to the governors of five Gulf states menaced by the spill. BP is ultimately responsible for funding the cost of response and cleanup operations. Uh, my administration will continue to use every single available resource at our disposal. It's been a week since the Deepwater Horizon oil rig went down, and this disaster is now far worse than first believed. The estimated 5,000 barrels of oil pouring into the Gulf every day is five times higher than earlier estimates. That includes the third leak, 5,000 feet underwater in an oil pipeline called a riser. It could take 90 days to plug the leak, but by then as much as 18 million gallons of oil could be in the Gulf. Windy weather moving in is the latest bad news. Over the next 24 to 48 hours, the winds are going to be increasing, probably sustained at 20 to 30 knots. Seas probably 6 to 10 feet. That means it's going to be very rough out there. For Plaquemine Parish's 23,000 residents battered by Hurricane Katrina, it's another potential disaster. Plaquemine juts into the Gulf. Oil could reach its shores first. Most workers in Plaquemine fish for a living. Oyster, shrimp, crab. Many other people work in oil. Plaquemine's two worlds are about to collide. It's definitely a disaster. I mean, they're already talking about it probably being the biggest oil spills ever been. In Plaquemine Parish, boaters want permission to lay boom across as many inlets as possible. If we don't get that answer done uh, and that oil comes ashore, shame on us for not doing it. The first lawsuit has been filed against British Petroleum by a group of uh, shrimpers out here. The oil's not even ashore, and the storm of finger pointing's already underway. Katie? Meanwhile, Mark, I understand BP has an APB out for anyone who can help with this situation. Yeah, it says something about the scope of this emergency when a company the size of British Petroleum finds it daunting. BP has now reached out to the U.S. military for its latest uh, cutting-edge underwater robotics and imaging. It plans to use a experimental chemical as soon as tonight to break up oil underwater. It is even reaching out to shrimpers out here for help with a planned cleanup. As an emergency, this one has become all hands on deck. All right. Katie? Mark Strassman in Empire, Louisiana. Mark, thank you.